In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Sanford Guide for Web here at Frontier. On the library's homepage, scroll to the bottom. It will be the last link under Clinical Resources. On the homepage of Sanford Guide, you have one search box that you can use. You can see your recently viewed topics here or recently modified topics here. You can also subscribe to infectious disease updates if you wish. And then the quick links will connect you to the most commonly used information quickly. If you'd like to try out the mobile version, you can start the registration process by clicking at the top and putting in your Frontier email address. The content in Sanford Guide is organized by syndromes, which will sometimes follow body systems, but other times just particular types of syndromes. Then you have pathogens, anti-infectives, prevention, and tables and tools. Let's take a look at one of the tables here. Under drug usage and dosing, we have a table on renal impairment dosing that we'll take a look at. The Sanford Guide tables do offer a search box so you can look for a particular drug, or you can browse the table. And then when you find a drug that you wanna see more information on, you can click the view link to see the particular information the table has to offer. Of course, most people will probably just use the search box. So when you click the search box, you're given the option of looking at just Sanford Guide pages, or you can click additional resources. Let's just put in a search term here. Usually the most relevant uh, result will be at the top. If you click on it, you'll be taken to a Sanford Guide summary. Now within the summary, you can always navigate on the right side of the page or you can simply scroll through. The Sanford Guide summaries are designed to be very succinct and focused on infectious disease. If you'd like to get any more information about a particularly hyperlinked thing, you can click on that and go to its individual summary. If you have questions, contact the library.